Hey there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Blood on the Well Done Difficulty as emulated on DOSBox. I'm Bloodite Draken, and this is the secret level of the post-mortem The Forgotten Catacombs. Okay, move into the hallway, watch out for some spiders. And when you're done with that, approach this wall here and open it up. Get yourself a flare gun if you need it. And then get the flare gun out and facing to the right, do a sidestep peekaboo shooting with the flare burst. Just like that. Looks like the gargoyle got aggravated by the cultists. Burning Man again. Right, where's that gargoyle? Basically just want to smack him down with a napalm shot. Just like that. And then there's the fanatic. He's around here some There he is. Excellent. And then we'll go up this elevator and we'll be facing off with three phantasms. It's as noisy as it gets. I like to just jump over to the other side and then just jump back and forth. There's nowhere to jump to to get away from them without running into other enemies right now. Ah! Ah! Oh, I'll just come down here. Oops. Oh god. Well, luckily there's another life seed and I've got a good supply of doctor's bags on me. One on me and one in this level. Okay, we want to... We're just going to get the Tommy gun out for this. It's going to look a bit weird, I'll show you why. Let's just gun him down. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I could have, you know, shot a flare at him and set him aflame in groups. Uh, why didn't I do that? Well, watch this. What the fuck is that? That's the, that's the greatest mapping glitch I've ever seen. Since, um, raw sewage. But, when you, sh when you pick a boot shoot to the right here, uh, you can hit those guys with a flare burst. Oop, better get those hellhounds. Oh, come on. Yes, I know you can't hit them with the Tesla cannon. It was just instincts going off, I guess. It kind of disrupts the gameplay slightly, having to switch weapons because constantly because of the uh, Tesla cultists, those silly zealots. Oh, well. Got him. <laughs> he went into a rage. Okay, so we don't need those right now, do we? No. We'll pick up that Tesla cannon ammo later. Take down these hands for now. Interesting thing I learned about the uh, Hellhounds in this game. They actually count as a kill. Can't remember at this point if I've missed any throughout the playthrough, but well, if I have, oh well. Uh, you can't use flares down this hallway either, I'll demonstrate. It, if you fire down the other, the other end of this hallway, it, they bounce back again, so we're just going to use a napalm shot on these zombies. And yes, as you can hear, there's phantasms who have been alerted to our presence. Now we can pretty much just back off to wherever we need to to get away from these guys if need be. Ooh, ow. Just grab that. I guess we'll be, there'll be no more life essences to... There's one. Just use the last of these shotgun shells on these phantasms. 
Oh god. I'm also trying to take care not to pick up the life essences by mistake. Well, that's plenty of the last of the shotgun shells to good use for now. Oh, there's a box over there. Ah, we'll just use the jumping boost to get back up there. So what you do is jump up here. And for our second secret, flick this switch. And we'll just run back over with the jumping boost in tow. And we now we have our second secret, a life leech. We have the skull key now, so we'll just open up this door and face off with some gargoyles. Give him a nice fiery smack down with the napalm launcher. Proceed forward. It gets to be a bit of a kind of like a maze, vertical and horizontal all over the place, and there's enemies everywhere. So this will be interesting. Got cultists in that niche over there. A lot of enemies have just fallen down into this shallow river. We'll get to them in a second. See, they just wander off everywhere. Right, let's pick up our third secret. Well, not yet. I think you can fire downwards in this area. Right, this is our third secret. Just pull that elevator down after pulling down, open the wall. And you can get a life seed and some gasoline. We're gonna save that life seed for after the level's finished. There is a switch there. I don't know what it does, and I've never seen it do anything particularly useful for me, so I'm just going to ignore it. So just gotta watch out for enemies along this river. <sighs> There's the eye key. Oh. And there's a fanatic up on the bridge as well as that cultist up there too. So we'll just jump up there uh -huh. if I can. Oh boy, bats. So we can jump up here, we can. There should be a fin egg just over that way. Or at least there's bats. Eh, we killed a few things, that's what matters. Whoa. Hey, what are you... No, Caleb, what are you grabbing that out for? Thank you for a life essence, eh? Alright. Let's continue onwards. Now that gate will be opened up shortly, too. I'll show you where the switch is for that. For now, we've got more gargoyles and cultists coming after us. We can get him to come down here with us. Another gargoyle and another cultist. Let's see if we can get there. Let's go up to the cultist first since he's a hit scanner. And then we'll try and get the gargoyle to be level with us so that we can shoot him. Not sure if that's going to happen. I don't even know where he is exactly. I'll just go about my merry business while I wait for an opportunity to kill him. So for now, we'll just open up this eye door. There's some hands across the bridge. Just 
fire. Oh, there's the gargoyle. I don't know if he's going to come down. We can always just voodoo him. There we go. So yeah, there's hands and rats just across the bridge, just fire the shotgun in their general direction, and then we have a fanatic or two to deal with. that up. Oh. Ah, now I understand what that switch must do. Hang on, let's go back to the ice seed. Let's see if we can reach the switch without touching it. Uh, got it. Yeah, I don't want to touch that ice seed just yet. I think that switch, that torture board looking thing has a invisibility behind it. When I believe that the switch must open that up. Well, no, you can just open it up. That's okay, I didn't know that. It's usually open when I get there, so I always thought maybe something somewhere where you step would trigger it open, but well, I guess not. Anyway, just grab the invisibility, go down this ramp, open this up, charge up a off fire shot. Oh, wrong, wrong part. Then just spray them all down, and then we'll just shut down these bastards down. Oh my god, it's off. Now, then we'll grab the eye key, grab the goodies inside, and yeah, we're nearly done. We just need to hit this switch that opens up that gate over there then we can jump to where that TNT barrel is and grab the voodoo doll grab all the goodies here including the super armor open up that wall grab the trap soul throw that switch down get the shotgun ammo and then jump across for a doctor's bag yeah quite a convoluted secret not too difficult to remember but it can be confusing as to where you'd have to go the first time around I was able to memorize that. Okay. So, hopefully my microphone's still going at this point. Just jump back up here. Get the Tesla cannon out. Pick up all the ammo and guns akimbo. Open up the door and just... Spray like a motherfucker. And yeah, he'll be dead before you know it. That doesn't count as a kill, we'll just ignore him. We'll just go get the life seed, uh, stock up on some more Tesla cannon ammo, and eject. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what that switch beside the... the life seed does, so... Yeah, feel free to let me know. Maybe there's something I don't know about it. Maybe there's an untagged secret that I didn't know about. I usually don't chase after those very often anyway, if you know me. They annoy me more than anything. <laughs> Done and dusted. Oh boy, before we meet our final bosses, we've got a long stretch through the dungeon. See you guys next time around. Till then.